Hi everyone, I am Dr. C. Devi Shamla, working as Assistant Professor of Mathematics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Kadalur. In this video, I am going to teach about matrix multiplication. For matrix multiplication, we should know two points. First one is, when we multiply two matrices. And the second one, how to multiply two matrices. So, these two points are very important for matrix multiplication. So, first we see when we multiply two matrices. For matrix multiplication, we have to check the order of the given two matrices. So, let us take A has the order of M cross N and B has the order of P cross R matrix means. Here, we have to check the number of column in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. Here that is, okay, you consider M cross N cross P cross R. Here N cross P must be the same or must be equal. Then only we can multiply these two matrices. Suppose we can find B cross A means again you, we have to check the same condition. First we take the B matrix and you consider that A matrix. Again we check the same condition for both the matrices. Now we see some example. Okay, A implies 3 cross 2 matrix and B implies 2 cross 4 matrix. And C implies 3 cross 3 matrix. Suppose we have to find A cross B matrix means 3 cross 2 cross 2 cross 4. Here the column of the first matrix is equal to row of the second matrix. So the condition is satisfied. Therefore we can multiply these two matrices. The resultant matrix has the order is 3 cross 4. Similarly for B cross A. Suppose we have to find B cross A means you take the B matrices first. That is 2 cross 4 cross 3 cross 2. Here 4 is not equal to 3. So we cannot multiply B cross A. So similarly in the C cross B matrix. That is 3 cross 3 cross 2 cross 4. Here also the column of the first matrix is not equal to row of the second matrix. So we cannot find out C cross B and C cross C. C cross C matrix this has equal that is column is column of the first matrix is equal to row of the first matrix. So we can multiply C cross C. The resultant matrix is, uh, has 3 cross 3 order. Okay. Then how to multiply two matrices? Next we see how to multiply two matrices. Let A and B be matrices whose product A cross B is defined as C. Now to calculate the value of the element C i j, we combine the ith row of the A matrix and the jth column of B matrix. So this is the general form of the matrix consider a combination of the second row of A and the first column of B gives the element in the second row and the first column of C. Now see one example. Here they are given that 1, 2, 3 this is the first matrix. The second matrix is the column matrix minus 2, 4, 0. So here first consider both the row and column as a list of numbers and multiply the corresponding elements in each list together and then add the results of these products together. Then only we can find out that <coughs> A cross B. That means here the first matrix contains only one row. Take this first row. And multiply this column. The corresponding elements has to be multiplied and add. 
1 into minus 2 plus 2 into 4 plus 3 into 0. That means minus 2 plus 8 plus 0. When we add this one, we get only one element that is 6. Okay, you see another example. If you see that example, the first mat has 2 cross 2 order, the second matrix has 2 cross 3 order. So, therefore, the condition is satisfied. So, we can multiply these two matrices. So, again, you take the first row in the first matrix and multiply every column one by one. That means, first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. When we multiply these and add, we will get the first row elements. Now, you consider first row, first column. 1 into minus 2 plus 2 into 2. Now, you simplify this one. Minus 1 plus 4. When you simplify this one, we have 3. This is the first element. So, next you take the first row and multiply by second column. That is 1 into minus 3 plus 2 into 4. When you simplify this one, we have 5. So, similarly, we can find out the next element in the first row. That means first row third element. That is 1 into minus 5 plus 2 into 6. So, that is 7. So, similarly, Take the second row. The first row operation is completed. Now you consider the second row. The same as you multiply by first column and by second, col second column, then the third column. So the second row first element is 5. That means you have to multiply 3 into minus 1 plus 4 into 2. Again, first row sorry second row and second column so that is 3 cross minus 3 plus 4 into 4 you have 7 similarly second row third column that is 3 into minus 5 plus 4 into 6 when you simplify this one you get 9 so the second row of the answer matrix is 5 7 9 so when you multiply these two matrices, we get 3, 5, 7 and 5, 7, 9. So, this satisfies this condition and also the answer matrices as the error is 2 cross 3 matrix. I hope you understand this. Thank you.